Welcome to the channel, Cooking with Chef Buka. Please don't forget, subscribe, share, like, tell a friend to tell a friend. Let's get into it. Hi, it's Buka again, doing it again, doing what we do best, making stuff happen. VIP style, you know we do. Don't forget, you know what I'm saying? That we know if we like something, we can cook for you, we make it happen all day, every day. You know what I'm saying? Today we decided to, you know what, we're going to make something, one of Jamaican, you know, not favorite, favorite, because I'm not so much into so much sugar, but I know one of our guys from Vegas asked me about it, said, Buka, what happened? We need to make some peanut drops. So I'm like, you know what, all right. You ask for it, peanut drops, here we go. Check my ingredients out. So I got three cups of peanut right here. You know what I'm saying? I got a cup of water. And I'm supposed to have three cups of sugar. Alright? But I'm going to do two cups of sugar. Instead of three. Alright? Ginger. You can put any more in the ginger you want. Fresh ginger. We're going to grate it. Peel and grate it. We have cinnamon. We have nutmeg. And I say, all the little bit touch. Salt. To balance out everything. So, you know, we get this peanut straight from Jamaica. Cause we want the real authentic peanut to make our drops, make our peanut porridge. If you guys noticed when we did the peanut porridge, it was real authentic Jamaican peanut. So we're trying to keep that side of the, you know, the culinary aspect authentic. So what we're going to do when we come back, we're going to get into that. We're going to put water in the pot, let it start boil. We're going to add a two cup sugar. Then we're going to add all the spices. And then we're going to put the peanuts and let it cook down and release down. Because you want to have the peanut to be like, blanch a little bit into the hot liquid so it doesn't seem like it's completely raw peanuts you're eating so when we come back we're gonna get into that all right so we here finish up on that peanut drops my style my flavor a little bit of touch of you know everything we do is always have the kind of making you know what i'm saying flair to it so see what i'm doing right here check me out we already you know we talk about the ingredients already so the ginger, I use a spoon and peel it like this just to get off the, the thing off right. It's better to use a spoon. When you use a spoon, it doesn't lose like a, a lot of the ginger. The spoon is much easier to peel it. Some people think spoon won't do it, but it will do it because the ginger skin is really easy to come out. So what we're going to do, we're going to start greater. See if we can get all the ingredients in. I put it on this because this is what maybe what I'm going to even put the drops on as well. You know, parchment paper. So we're trying to grate it as fine as possible. Just a couple little pieces left off in it. So this is like about half a cup of ginger. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you can add as much as you want if you want yours to be spicy. And it all depends on the ginger you have. You know the Jamaican ginger is a bit way bit spicier than these ginger. You know what I'm saying? But this ginger is more like, you know, a lot of fertilizer in it and all of that, you know? Yeah, so when you grate on this too, all the liquid you can get back all the liquid off it. Nothing escape. You can just turn it, shake it off in the pot. Mm -hmm. Simple and easy as that. It's really easy to make, you know? 10 15 minutes, you can have this ready to go. And we're using raw peanut in this one, so it's going to take a little bit more longer to kind of get the peanut blanch. That's what you really want. No, you don't want like eggs that raw peanuts and when you grate it be careful you grate it sharp you know i'm gonna keep gratering when we come back we're gonna get into the rest of it okay yeah so ginger finished grater i decide i'm gonna leave a little piece of it but you can put as much as you want as how spicy you want it in there so we're gonna move over to the pot we're gonna get the sugar in we're gonna get the ginger in and get all the spice in a little bit of vanilla later on we're gonna grate a little bit of nutmeg in there so Let's move over to the stove. Get a little bit of you know, everything in here. Mm -hmm. It's what we do all day, every day. You know? Okay, so I already put um, the liquid from the ginger in here. Say a cup of water. You can see the discoloration is starch from the ginger. You know what I'm saying? Kind of give it that kind of different color looking in there. You know what I'm saying? That's what the starch does. You know, there's starch in a lot of these kind of stuff, so 
to figure it out. So, all right. Told you about this. You don't want a lot in there. Let's get them out. Sugar. So we have three cup here. We're not gonna put all three cup because it's way too much sugar. You know what I say? I can't consume too much sugar, so and I don't want to. So let's see what does this do. Turn about the fire and medium. Let it boil down, pinch of salt. Bam bam. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add cinnamon. Right. A lot of people use a different kind of spice and flavor for stuff in the so I'm not even gonna wait for it to start. Get the boil and I'm gonna add the peanut so the peanut can blanch a little bit as well, okay? So you want the peanut to kind of be like half cooked like I'm saying as I would say this peanut straight from Jamaica real kind of peanut you know we're not going around it sticking to the culture yeah. yeah and you'll see the consistency I'm gonna show you the consistency on it so you can see what it's supposed to look like this smells really good just the flavor I put in there already smells really nice the ginger is not even in there yet. Every time, anytime it start bubble, I'm gonna put the ginger in there. So, you know, ginger gonna start extract when it eats all the flavor from it. So um, we're gonna come back when it bubble. We're gonna add the ginger, and we're gonna get into the nutmeg and all of that. Okay. So as we said, we're gonna wait for it to start boiling to put the ginger. We're gonna put the ginger in there. Okay, and be careful when you're doing this thing, cause once the sugar start boiling, don't let it touch you. You're going to, if you try if it touch you you try to take it off you're gonna take off skin and everything it's just like when they do in the road a little bit of hot tar touch you skin comes trust me yeah okay that ginger in there you can see it it's already start farming you know, slowly so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna turn the fire down a bit you don't want it to farm too quick you want to kind of blanch the peanut as well the ginger in that's a great part you know so I'm gonna turn the fire down medium and let it take its time and do what it does because I need the peanut to blanch a bit so it doesn't completely raw you know it could be raw as well but I kind of like it blanch a bit if I'm eating raw peanut I'm eating raw peanut but if I'm eating peanut drops you have to blanch a bit all right blanch is like kind of cook it a bit the word blanch you know if you guys don't know what it is yeah so we do it yep consistent is good so far 15 20 minutes show you we'll put drops on paper and make drops all right we'll come back we're gonna final touch up put the nutmeg in there and then we're gonna try to put it together because you gotta put it together before it cool down if it's cool down you're just gonna set in the pot like that you want to make sure it's hot when you're working with it all right yeah So right now I put my fire down and extremely low. So what you're looking for right now is a consistency. I'll show you on the back of the spoon. See that? It's not moving. It's staying coat. That's what you really want to look for when you're making it. You want it to coat on the back of the spoon. It doesn't run off easily so you know the sugar it reach where it's supposed to reach. You know what I'm saying? yeah and this thing that like come together real easy so what I normally do I scoop some put it back scoop some put it back so you know what I'm saying it doesn't stick up on me easily you know what I'm saying so it still keep at that temperature that I want it to be so we're gonna go ahead and scoop a few oh, set it up look like you can take it take the whole three cup of sugar but it's okay I don't need all the sugar all right, let's go over here put it on deck mm -hmm. 
Gotta make sure you get a little bit of that liquid as well on it, you know what I'm saying? Is that liquid? It's gotta be on it as well. You don't want too much liquid in one spot too, because too much liquid, it's like you're gonna get too much sugar, you know? Yeah man, easy, simple, drops. Nothing crazy about it, just quick and easy and simple. You know what I'm My friend Patsy already told me when I make this, I'm supposed to bring hers, so. I'll make two little small ones for her, you know what I'm saying? sugar out of here because this is nice you know what I'm saying? so we're gonna wait for it to cool down when we come back we're gonna take one off and show you it's come together real easy okay so yes don't forget we say ginger peanut drops VIP style whatever flavor ingredients check out the finishing product Mm -hmm. VIP style, right amount of sugar, right amount of everything. You hear that? Firm. Well firm, well nice, well put together. You know what I say? Simple, easy, quick made. You know what I'm saying? You can eat it whichever way you want, but sugar content is a lot. But it's what we do, what we like. So we make it, you guys enjoy this video. Don't forget, hit the like button. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Share, you know what I'm saying? Comment. Let me know what you think. You know, your opinion is very important to us as a family, as a channel. We're growing slowly. Peace and love, everybody. That's the end of the video. Don't forget, like, share, hit the notification bell. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Peace.